Have you ever tried to use your Microsoft Authenticator just to be met with your screen lock has changed, re-enable phone sign-in? Okay, so I re-enable phone sign-in and then I go and put in my password and then it tells you that you've done too many attempts. And then you just start this vicious cycle over and over again. Well, let me show you the fix. Go ahead and open up Microsoft Authenticator. Then choose your account. Then we're going to click the cog button. Now, before you do this next step, make sure that you know your password and that your password is correct. Once you've clicked the cog button, select remove account. Press the plus button to add an account or you can just press the add an account button if you don't already have an account. It'll then ask you, what kind of account are you adding? If it's a personal account, you can add personal account. If you're doing this for work, then add the work or school account. Now, here is the trick. If you're on your home network and you're getting the too many attempts error, switch off your Wi-Fi and then turn on your mobile data network. If you don't have your mobile network with you, go to a different internet service. So for example, maybe borrow your neighbor's Wi-Fi or you can go to say your parents' Wi-Fi or a friend's Wi-Fi. Whatever it is, it needs to be a different IP address. If you see sign in with Microsoft or scan QR code, select sign in with Microsoft. And now enter your password and then select sign in. Now that you've added your account back, go back to whatever you're trying to sign in. And in my case, I was signing into Outlook. Go back there, sign in, put in your password, and then it's going to try to authenticate you again. When that happens, it will try to re-enable your phone sign-in. When the request comes to approve, you can just select, I can't use my Microsoft Authenticator right now. This will look like either this, or this, or this. Essentially, we're trying to get to this page. Now, when you're using the new network, it should allow you to go through when you try and put in your password. When you're trying to re-enable your phone sign-in, if you can't get a notification from your phone or maybe you've got no other way to sign in, just select use password. Once you get to the login page, put in your password and then select sign in. Now at this point, if you're still on your mobile network or a different network altogether, this should work. Unless of course, You've also done this beforehand and you've gone to different networks and tried to sign in using the exact same method. Essentially, if you've tried to sign in too many times into your account, Microsoft will lock you out. This is unfortunate if a hacker's been trying to hack you or you've got another family member trying to obsessively try to log into your account or you've just tried your password too many times and you've never unlocked it. If that's the case, You'll have to try and find a new internet service provider that will give you a different IP address or you can try using a VPN which will augment your IP address. But that gets a little bit too complicated. So using your mobile network is usually quite easy or if you just jump onto somebody's hotspot. Because this issue is so finicky, there's lots of different ways that you can go about fixing it. If you have any questions, post it in the comments below and I'll try my best to fix it for you.